Good morning, friends. Um, I'm sorry if it's wiggling a bit. It should settle. I'm trying a new thing to hold my phone. Um, and I hope I'm looking at you in the right place there. I think that's the right place. Anyway, today is Monday, um, uh, November, <gasps> November 13th. My goodness. Here I am thinking it's still October. Time is just flying by. Anyway, I wanted to come and say hi to you all today and hi to my new subscribers. Um, I've had a lot going on. That's why I haven't been on. Um, not weight related. Um, I had an issue that was kind of heavy on my heart and I um, talked to one of the um, members of my church about it and he gave me some great advice and I did what he said and things worked out really good. So that was good. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of doing that with the damp weather. Um, it's been rainy and cold, um, comes a lot of pain and I try to limit myself as much as possible. Um, now last night I couldn't get to sleep I was so uneasy and I was in so much pain so I ended up taking um a half of one of my nerve pills which I don't really like because it makes me kind of dopey and just kind of slow the next day so yeah I'm slow but anyway weight wise I'm sure you're all concerned well not concerned I'm sure you're all wondering about that um I did gain a pound this week but also um you know, my weight has been an issue for so long and it's something that really gets on my nerves and I'm frustrated. But anyway, I was looking through one of my old planners that I started in January of 2017 and I was shocked to see that my weight was the same then as it is now. Now, I looked at it two ways. The first way I looked at it was, oh, I can't believe I wasted a year of my life, a year of not getting healthy, a year of not getting thin, not thin, a year of not getting thinner. How's that? Um, and it bummed me out. But then on the same note, I also looked at it was, you know, that's pretty good to stay the same weight for a year. Um, and the reason I say that, I believe I've mentioned this before. Uh, Mom and I used to go away for the weekend a lot over to the States. And um, I was probably, I would think in my 20s, maybe late 20s. And we went away um, one weekend and I gained six pounds in a weekend. So other than shop till we dropped, you can tell what else we did that weekend. Like six pounds in a weekend is ridiculous. So that's why when I thought, okay, a year staying the same weight, Sure, it's not good. It's not where I want to be. But in a way, it's not that bad either. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, um, I'm not pleased with it. Like, I'm not happy. I don't want to be this weight, as you all know. Um, oh, excuse me. Morning coffee. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not something that I say, oh, yay me. Um, but I am going to try, um, extra hard again, of course. Uh, I did as I say, I've had a lot going on. So, um, my eating and my weight has kind of gone to the back of things, but I'm going to bring it forefront again. Um, I am having some liver trouble. Um, it's very painful even to touch my side. So I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure. Um, but I know fatty foods, like I have a fatty liver or whatever. So isn't good but fatty foods are good for keto. So I may not be going 100% keto right now. I kind of want to go very bland until I get this so that I'm not in as much pain and so nauseated and indigestion and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. Um, other than, as I say, other than my pain and stuff, I'm feeling more and more comfortable at church. Um, I actually... I feel it's my home church now. Now, just so you know, we did have another potluck and it was yesterday and I, I couldn't stay. I'm still not to that point yet, but I am very comfortable there and I'm sure in time the potlucks will come um, because they do have them quite often actually. So I will go. I will because um, it's like anything. Once you do it the first time, like the first time I went to this church, I was so nervous. 
was like, oh my goodness, I've never been here and blah, 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 blah. And I went and I loved it. And now I just love everybody in it. And it's so welcoming. Um, but as I say, the whole after is is a challenge for me. Like I do suffer um, anxiety and I get very tense and stuff. But you don't know unless you try it, right? So I will stay eventually because I do like the people. Um, other than that, Korak is doing fine. He's just a big suck. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I can't believe, as I say, that we're in the middle, well, towards the end of the middle of November already. So Christmas is right around the corner. Um, I don't know what's going to... I'm probably going to put up... We were debating whether to put up a tree or not because of the boxer. <laughs> I keep telling him he puts the ox in boxer. He is such a cement head. He's a sl uh, like he's a klutz. He just like he'll run into things and where the tree goes is kind of like off to we have a doorway that goes into like the bathroom and the kitchen and the back door and what have you but it's the doorway that goes into the living room and where the tree is going to go is right next to that doorway so i'm not sure about this i know it's always funny because people with cats um they say the cats play with the balls and stuff well i don't think it's going to be a case of korak wanting to play with stuff but he's going to run into stuff and it's funny we tell him he is so nosy i have never had a dog be so nosy in a in my whole life he just has to know everything in fact i'm surprised he's not over here right now checking out like what this is all about and we open our front door and when we do like we open it up and the screen door is closed but he can see down the crescent and down the street so we call it doggy tv so every day it's like, okay, it's time to turn doggy TV on. But anyway, you probably don't want to know all this. You probably just want to know about the weight and my health. But um, as I say, I did gain this week. Damn, but I'm not going to fret. Um, I'm just going to try and get get doing better and see if I can't get this um, liver to feel better. Because it, it is very tender and, and sore, but that's part of growing old I guess but anyway I hope you guys all have a great week thank you so much to my new subscribers I'm so excited when I click on and see that I have um, new people that have joined um, I will be on this weight loss journey for a very long time as you can tell because um, I'm a big girl and it's gonna take time but I appreciate each and every one of you I love your comments the support just gives me that oomph to keep going and even when I maybe go at it pretty slow, at least I am going at it. So thanks so much. As I say, have a great week and I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.